Hello everyone. Um, we are heading back home and um, just trying to do my normal test route. We have the, the first drive I did <laughs> is uh, doing um, this route uh, to my parents and now I'm going from my parents back home uh, to my house. And so we're going to see how well this functions here. Two side notes, um, the text message sound has changed, as you can hear, and um, I can also send navigation waypoints from my phone again. Now, I was really disappointed when that changed to where I couldn't, I could no longer send uh, navigation routes from my phone, and so I can do that again, so I'm really happy about that. We're going to see if we can make this a zero disengagement drive. My, uh, I had just dropped off my aunt, aunt at the airport, she didn't want to be in a video, so couldn't make a video on that but we had from Hendersonville to the Asheville airport had two three disengagements and only two I think one of them were actually like related to like full self-driving issues the other the others were just all routing issues and so you saw that hesitation oh and, it, and it's going quick here um, which is actually appropriate. That speed was appropriate for the traffic that was coming up behind me. But um, it did go at a good time. There were actually no cars going at the time. Uh, but uh, yeah, so that uh, it handled that uh, blind corner quite well. Uh, there's a bush to my left right there, and it can block a lot of the view going down the road, even for me as a human. And so it has to creep out pretty far before it can actually get a good view of the road because of the B pillar, but it did well. Okay, so that stop sign is still trying to stop four. That has not been improved at 9.2 yet. Uh, I'm gonna press the camera button every version and see if they finally catch it. Let's see how this intersection goes. This is a challenge point. That's doing good. Is it gonna turn on the blinker? No, I'm gonna turn on the camera button every time right there until that, that turns on the blinker. It's never turned on the blinker there. And that causes issues. It really needs to get in the left lane here, but we'll wait to see once traffic has gone by when it decides to do that. It won't do it probably until we're up ahead around the corner. Oh, they haven't fixed the speed limits yet. That's another problem. But because of they've adjusted how quickly the car responds to speed changes, then um, it doesn't go drastically go up and down in speed now. Okay, I'm gonna take over. Now turn left onto Sixth Avenue West. Again, it goes past the speed limit sign. Doesn't see it. It's, it's a 20 mile an hour sign for some whatever reason. It just does not get that sign. I'm gonna try and snapshot that again and, until they fix it. They actually did fix the speed limit on my parents' um, cul-de-sac there. It used to be 40 mile an hour in a cul-de-sac, but it's really a 20 mile an hour. Um, so they did fix that. Um, so hopefully over time they'll start fixing all the little speed limit issues. I have quite a number, I have four or five speed limit areas that are just completely wrong. Phantom braking all of a sudden. I don't know what's happening. That was definitely should not have happened. And the car, of course, cut me off. Um, 
but my car handled it well. I don't know what that phantom braking was from. But it So it got onto the, the ramp better, uh, but it still doesn't use the blinker. Okay, so it saw this guy with the bow and needs to get over. It's, see, what happens is it switches to full self uh, to navigate an autopilot too late, and that's the, what the problem is. It doesn't. Uh, you can't. Uh, it needs to switch sooner so then it can actually change lanes at an appropriate time. I think that's what's happening. Staying a little bit to the left side of the road here. And it's going back to the right, but it's, this is fine. Now turn left on two of the drive. Let's see, it should. Don't try it. Yeah, okay, it's staying, staying the correct path. The guy behind me is also going this path. I need to check for any oncoming cars. I don't see any. I'm pushing it to go, there's a car coming, it just needs to have more confidence. I think with the next version, supposedly, that they're going to up the confidence even further. So hopefully that is improved. Um, it was going, it just needs to just just go. <laughs> once, once it knows it's clear, uh, it just needs to go. And that brake was for the car on the right. I'm not sure, it's, it has delayed braking. It's like... It, I guess that's that's the algorithm that um, predicts where a car is going to go. So I thought that car to the right was actually going to come and hit me. Um, that's what it predicted, and so that's why it braked a little bit. But since the car decided it stopped, it, you know, it, um, my car continued going. But um, overall, this was a single disengagement drive strictly because of routing. Uh, it didn't get in the right lane soon enough. Sorry, the correct lane soon enough needs to be, needed to be in that left lane there. Uh, so I had to take over and aggressively get into the correct lane. Um, so you don't want to do that normally. But yeah, once that issue is fixed, we're going to have a ton of zero disengagement drives. As always, appreciate you guys watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.